If your credit score is in the 400s, the 500s, or the 600s, you are not alone. Unfortunately, that means that lower credit score is gonna mean that you are gonna be paying higher fees and more money in interest. But I do have a solution of how to fix bad credit. Today, we're gonna to walk through some actionable things that you can do starting today to help fix your credit, so that way you can save more money in the long run. The first step to fixing your bad credit is to know where your credit score is. I love being able to visually see my credit score and I love doing that through Smart Credit. I have a link for you guys for $1 to get started and they have this really cool feature in Smart Credit called Score Builder. With Score Builder, you can see exactly what is affecting your credit score. You can see what's open, what's closed, if anything's past due, anything's delinquent. Your payment history makes up 35% of your credit score. So it's really important to make sure that you are up to date on your payments and that you know what exactly is going on with your credit score. Smart Credit also has a feature where you can go and if you have any delinquent payments, anything past due or anything that you want to send a goodwill statement to these creditors, you can do that right through Smart Credit, which is really cool. They have templates that you can send it right through there and all the headache, all the, the procrastination is taken out. I know that I'm so guilty of saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this, oh yeah, I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna do that, put it on my to-do list, and then next thing you know, months have gone by and you haven't done it. But with Smart Credit, you can do it right here on the website and it just takes minutes. The next step to fixing your bad credit is to pay your bills on time. If you don't have a budget, if you don't have a spending plan, I use those terms the same, but get on a budget, get on a written plan where you are saying, okay, these are all of my bills. This is my income. This is how much money I have at the end of the month. Can I pay all my bills? And figure out that plan for your money. You wanna be in control of your money versus your money in control of you. And the best way to do that is through a budget. And with this, you wanna make sure that you're at least paying a minimums on all of your debts. If you're not able to pay all of your debts, at least the minimums, that's your first goal. You wanna make sure that you can get to that point financially. So that may mean you need to cut out a couple of things. You need to cut back on eating out. You need to cut back on groceries a little bit. You need to cut back on your personal spending money. But that is number one, is you wanna make sure that you're at least doing the minimums on all of your debts. Then you can at least see, okay, everything is up to date and we are not past due on anything. The next step to fixing your bad credit is to reduce your credit utilization. They say that you want your credit utilization at least under 30%, but more experts are moving towards even going down to 10% credit utilization. So what this means is if you have a credit card with a $1,000 maximum that you can spend on a $1,000 limit, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your spending of how much is currently charged on your card under $300. So that would be under 30%. Or if you have a $10,000 card, under $3,000. So if it's getting up to 3,000 or up to 4,000, you wanna make sure that you're paying that off or you wanna make sure that you're bringing the balance down. Now with credit cards, we wanna pay them off every month so we're not paying interest on them, but even if you're doing that, even if you're paying off your credit cards every single month, you still wanna make sure that your utilization is under 30%. And if you can get it even lower, then that's gonna be even better. And this is really going to help with increasing your credit score because this is a big thing that we'll look at is how much of your credit that they have allowed you to use, how much you're using. Smart Credit has a really cool feature called Score Boost. And what this does is this evaluates your credit utilization rate and then calculates the amount of points you can gain. So how it works is you can see your credit card payments and you can see how they can increase your credit score or you can see how your spending can decrease your credit score. So it lets you know how much to pay and by when, as well as how many points your score will go up or down. Smart Credit will also send you an email and saying, hey, your credit card is coming up and if you pay it off by this day, it's gonna help to increase your, your score. Or if you have a student loan payment, if you make your payment by this day, it's gonna help to increase your score. So they, they send you those reminders, which is really cool. And sometimes it's so weird how credit is calculated, but sometimes if you pay it off a couple days early or this day, or whatever a day, it really does impact your credit score. So pay attention to that and that way you can see, okay, 
if we are paying a little bit extra on this, it's gonna increase our score this much, or if we're spending this much and we're putting this much more on credit cards, it's gonna make our credit score go down. And Smart Credit has that tool where you can see right there on the website, okay, this is gonna affect my credit score this much. The next step to fix bad credit is to set up automatic payments. And getting to the point where you can, in your budget, and you can do this financially, where you're at the point of, we're gonna set up these automatic reminders and we have a little bit of a buffer in our account, this is a great place to start and a great place to be financially. And when you can set up these automatic payments, you don't have to worry of if it's gonna get taken out on time, if you're gonna to have to pay a late fee or anything like that. I remember those days where I was hit with so many late fees because I just had to wait till payday or I just had to wait. And then sometimes I would forget. I would be like, okay, I'm payday, we're gonna pay it. But then next thing I know, something else came up or I forgot or whatever it was. So when you are setting up those automatic payments, then you are good to go and you don't have to worry about missing a payment, paying a late fee. And your credit is automatically gonna start going up by making those on-time payments. Next up is to come up with a debt reduction plan. So you wanna make sure that you're coming up with a plan to pay off your debt, to pay down those credit cards. Now, whether that is the debt avalanche, the debt snowball, the debt tsunami, whatever it is, I think that they're all great. They all have different times of when one may be better than the other for your situation. I have a full video that goes through all of them and I explain this different scenarios of what may be best for you. Some people, Dave Ramsey, some people are like only debt snowball. Some people are only debt avalanche. I think it all depends on you, how your brain works, what your financial situation is, and how you're gonna figure that out. So come up with a plan, figure out in your budget how much you can put towards your debt every single month. Even if it's $50 extra a month, or even if it's 100 or 200, whatever it is, come up with a plan to start paying down that debt. You're gonna see as you're paying down that debt, your credit is gonna go up. And like I said in the beginning, that's gonna help to save you a lot of money over time is by having your credit score increase you're going to be saving money on interest. You're going to be saving money on maybe not having to pay a deposit when you move into an apartment for your electric bill. Yeah, I've had to do that in the past when my credit was so bad that I had to pay extra deposits because of it. And that's going to help save you so much money or save you so much money on your mortgage or on a car payment, different things like that. So increasing your credit is going to be a really great tool to help you financially and help you get ahead. Now a bonus tip, this is not something that has to do with increasing your credit, but it's something that Smart Credit does and it is one of my favorite, favorite features and I absolutely love it. It is called the Privacy Master and what this does is they have a tool where they will scan the internet for all of your private information and then they have a way that you can just hit remove request, remove request, remove request and get that information off of the internet. So your public address, your public phone number, where you're living, who you're living with, all that information gets it's sold on the dark web to these random websites and it's so frustrating and with scammers out there with people being nosy out there you can have it removed with one click of a button so definitely look into smart credit i absolutely them love them thank you for partnering with me on this video check them out you can get started for just a dollar with my link down below in the description and they are amazing. I absolutely love them. Let's keep the conversation going. If you wanna see the different types of debt payoff methods, figure out which one is best for you, check out this video here. And if you wanna see side hustles that you can do from home, how you can make money from home, from the comfort of your couch, all you need is an internet connection, check out this video here.